Hello students, this is part 2 of subtracting money and in this video we will go through 3 examples of how to subtract money. This is the 5th method or 5th example that we are going to learn and some of you are really going to like this method because we did this with normal whole numbers but now we are going to do it with money. Okay, when we are going to subtract, that means we are going to take away 290, that means we only have this amount. Do not forget, this is subtraction. Okay, if we have 1760 and we want to take away $2.90, what I can do is I can, instead of taking away $2.90, how much is a bit more than $2.90? If I have another 10 cents, actually $3, right? So instead of taking away $2, I'm going to take away $3. I'm going to take away more than I'm supposed to take away. Now, if I take away more than I'm supposed to take away, that means I change the question. How do I fix it? If I subtract more, I have to add it back. And how much do I add? I need to add 10 cents because $3 is 10 cents more than $2.90. Okay, so I'm going to start doing $17.60 minus $3. 17 minus 3 is $14. And I didn't touch the cents. 60 minus nothing is still 60. And then I have to add another 10 cents. Okay, if I add 10 cents, that means instead of 60 cents now, I'm going to have 70 cents. And that is the answer. So this method is called subtract more and add it back. We have to add it back so that we do not change the question. This is our next example. Whoa, we have so many different methods to subtract. You have to figure out which one you like. But I'm going to show you all the methods, right? Okay, so in this method, we have $18.60 and we are going to take away $8.80. As you can see, we can subtract the dollars, but there's not enough cents, right? So you can either um, use the previous methods or you can use this one. Okay, in this one, we did a bit in school. We have $18.60. Okay, and I'm going to split it within my between my two pockets. Okay, let's say I have two pockets. One pocket here and one pocket there. Okay, okay I'm going to put... Now, this is $8.80. Now, what is close to $8.80? The closest is $9. So, I'm going to put $9 in this pocket. Okay, that means I'm going to split this, right? If I put $9 in this pocket, that means I took away 9 from the dollars. 18 minus 9, I will have... How much do I put in this pocket? I will put $9.60 oh, $9 in that pocket. Now, let's check. 9 plus 9 is $18.60. Okay? Now, why do I choose to put $9 in this pocket? It's because it's very near to $8.80. Now, if I want to take away $8.80, which pocket should I choose? I'm going to choose this one because it's so easy. Okay? $9, take away $8.80. That will just give me $0.20. Cents. Okay, why? Because if you add $0.20 cents to this, you get $9. If you have $9 to take away $8.80, you get $0.20. Cents. Now, so I have $0.20 cents left in this pocket. But don't forget, this pocket I did not touch. So how much money do I have altogether? $9.60 plus $0.20, cents, that would give me... The answer would be $9.80. Okay, some of you might like this. We are actually choosing the nearest dollar to take it out from. Just think of it as splitting your money between two pockets. Okay, and I'm going to take, the, take away the $8.80 from this one because it's easy. And I always choose the easy number. What number, which whole number is nearest to $8.80? That would be $9 because if I add another $0.20, it would be $9. So I'm going to put $9 in this pocket. And now for our very last method would be the standard algorithm. Now, remember, the only important thing about using this method is you need to align the place values. Okay, can you see I have aligned my dots. Why? Because everything in front of the dot is dollars and everything behind is cents. Okay, so I'm going to do this easy example. First, we have $29.20 minus $4.80. 
10 cents. I'm going to do the cents first. I'm starting from the right. 0 minus 0 is just 0. 2 minus 1 is just 1. Okay, or you can see just 20 minus 10 is 10. Next, I need to draw the dot there. I'm going to draw a bigger dot here. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 2 tenths minus nothing is still 2 tenths. So the answer is $25.10. Now this is easy because we don't need to regroup. Now let's look at this second example. We have $8.10 minus $5.65. Again, remember to align the dots. Okay, remember to align the dots. The cents are behind, the dollars are in front, and they have to be aligned. Okay? Okay, so let's begin. We have, we are going to start with the cents, 0 minus 5. Do we have enough cents here? No, 0 minus 5. We're going to regroup. I have no more here and I'm going to regroup to become 10. 10 minus 5, that is enough. I would have 5. Next, 0 minus 6. Can we do that? No, not enough. We're going to regroup. I'm going to take 1. I'm 7 left and I'm going to have 10 here. 10 minus 6 is 4. We're done with the cents. Put a dot. $7 minus $5 is $2. And that is this example is the one with regroup. It works exactly like the whole numbers we do, just that there is a dot there. Okay, if you regroup over the dot, it's the same as doing whole numbers. And this is a method that is easy, but you need to be sure you have regrouped it carefully.